सो आफ्टर टेस्टिंग फॉर प्रमैलिटी द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज चाइनीज रिमाइंडर थ्योरम इन शॉर्ट दिस चाइनीज रिमाइंडर थ्योरम कैन बी कॉल्ड एज सी आर टी मेथड ओके सो दिस इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट यूजफुल एलिमेंट ऑफ नंबर थ्योरी ओके एंड द सी आर टी सेज दैट इट इज पॉसिबल टू रिकन्स्ट्रक्ट अ इंटीजर इन अ सर्टेन रेंज फ्रॉम द रेसिड्यू मॉड्यूलो अ सेट ऑफ pair wise relatively prime modulo what does it means this means if suppose if we have n1 sorry if we have n1 n2 up to n of k they are positive integers okay so they are positive integers that are pair wise co prime these all one n1 n2 up to nk are positive integers that are pair wise co prime and we can say they are pair wise co prime okay and a1 a2 up to a of k they are any integers they are any integers okay then chinese remainder theorem this theorem is used to find the value of x used to find some value of x that solves the following congruences equation simultaneously so what are the congruences uh, uh, equations are like if i have x is congruent to a1 mod n1 okay x is congruent to a2 mod n2 in the up to x is congruent to a of k mod n of k so if we have these type of congruence relationship then with the help of chinese remainder theorem we can calculate the value of this x okay so this is the application of chinese remainder theorem or suppose if we have a question like that a bag has a certain number of pens okay a bag has a bag has certain number of pens okay in which if we take out three pens if i am taking three pens then two pens are left okay two pens are left next is if i am taking one pen or uh, we can say if i am taking four pens then one pen is left okay and if i am taking five pens at a time then three pens are left okay now what is the small now if i have to calculate that what is the smallest number of pens in the bag then in this type of equations or in this type of question we can apply chinese remainder theorem how first of all we have to construct this type of equation this type of statement into some following equation means first say that if i am taking three pens at a time then two pens are left so this means x is congruent to 2 mod 3 if i am taking three pens then two pens are left okay similarly for the next two statement the equation will be uh x is congruent to when i am taking four pens then one pen is left so 1 mod 4 and third equation will be if i am taking five pens then three pens are left so 3 mod 5 so suppose if i have this type of equation congruence relationship and i have to uh, uh, calculate the smallest number of pen that is x small of small number of pen in the bag then in in that case uh, i can use chinese remainder theorem okay now i am taking one example that how we calculate or how we use chinese remainder theorem to calculate the smallest number of thing for this uh, value of x okay suppose the question is that we have to solve like we have equation like x is congruent to 2 mod 3 okay then x is congruent to 4 mod 5 and x is congruent to 6 mod 7 now i have to calculate the smallest number of value of x so for this i have to uh, use chinese remainder theorem so for applying the chinese remainder theorem the main equation is z equals to or we can say this uh, smallest number of x can be rep represented as z so this z is equals to capital b1 x1 c1 plus there are three equations so i have to take three times so this means plus c b2 x2 c2 
plus B3, X3 and C3. So this is the main equation for calculating the value of minimum value of X. Now what is B1, B2, B3? What is X1, X2, X3? What is C1, C2, C3? So we take it as 1 by 1. C. This equation is x is congruent to 2 mod 3, x is congruent to 4 mod 5, x is congruent to 6 mod 7. So here in, the, in this equation, this is 2, 4 and 6. They are represented as, they are represented as C of i and this 3, 5 and 7, it is represented as small b of i. Means C1 is equal to 2, small b1 is equal to 3, C2 is equal to 4 and small b2 is equal to 5. C3 is equal to 6, okay, and B small B3 is equal to 7. So from this equation, we can calculate C1, B1, C2, B2, and C3, B3. Now I have to calculate B1, capital B1, capital B2, and B3 with the help of this small b. So for this, first I have to calculate capital B, which is equal to small B1 multiplied by small B2 and B3. So it comes out to be 3 into 5 into 7, which is equals to 105. Okay, so this is the uh, combined modulo, okay, capital B. Now for calculating capital B1, so it, it comes out to be, or we can say the formula is capital B upon small B1. So it goes to be 105 upon small B1 is 3. So it comes out to be 35. In the same manner, I am calculating capital B2 which is equals to B upon B2. So 105 upon uh, 5 here. So it comes out to be 21. Then B3 is equals to B upon B3, small b3 which is 105 upon 7. It comes out to be 15. So this is capital B1, capital B2, capital B3. So till now I am having capital C1, C2, C3 and B1, B2, B3. Now what is remaining? x1, x2, x3. So for that purpose, so to calculate, uh, to calculate x of i, the following equation must be satisfied. What is the equation here? Following equation must be satisfied. So the equation is that capital B of i into capital B of xi is equal to or congruent to 1 mod small bi. So to calculate x1, x2, x3, I have to put all the values in this equation and the equation may, must be satisfied for calculating the respective values of x. So first I am calculating x1. So for that purpose, the equation will become b1, x1 is congruent to 1 mod small b1. So I know the value of capital B1 and small B1. See above. The value of capital B1 is 35 and small B1 is 3. So I'm substituting the value. So this may becomes 35 into x1 is congruent to 1 mod small b1 b is 3 here. So this equation, what does the, this equation means? This equation means that after multiplying the value of x1 to 35, and when we divide this whole value with 3, it gives a remainder 1. So through which we can calculate the value of x1. So I'm, first of all, I am reducing this 35 so that the calculation of x1 will become easy. So if I am divide 35 with 3, the remainder will become 2. So I can write it as 2 into x1 is congruent to 1 mod 3. Now. And what is the value of x1 in such a way or we can calc or we can put the value of x1 in such a way if I multiply 2 with that value and, and divide with 3 the remainder will be 1. So if I put 1 here means 2 into 1 that is 2 and when it divided by 3 the remainder will be 1. No. If I am putting 2, 2 into 2 means x1 is 2 here. So 1 mod 3 this means 4 is congruent to 1 mod 3? Yes. This means if I divide 4 by 3, then it will give the remainder 1. So this comes, it becomes that x1 is equals to 2 here. Okay. So in the same way, in the same way for x2 calculation, so the equation will be b2, x2 is congruent to 1 mod small b2. 
So the value will become B2 is 21 x2 1 mod 5. Okay. So what if I divide 21 with 5, the remainder will be 1. So I reduce this 21 to 1 as. So 1 into dot 1 dot x2 is congruent to 1 mod 5. So what is the value of x2 here? So that if I multiply with 1 and divide by 5, the remainder will be 1. So here the x2 will comes out to be 1 here. Okay, so this is how we calculate x2. So in the same way, in the same way, now I am calculating x3. So the equation will be x3, sorry, b3 x3 is congruent to 1 mod small b3. So if I substitute the value, so 15 x3 is congruent to 1 mod 7. So first 15 is divided by 7, I will get a remainder 1 here. So 1 into x3. So it congruent to 1 mod 7. Now if I substitute the value of x3 as 1 and when I divide 1 uh, by 7 then I will get a remainder 1 here. So the x3 the value of x3 will be 1. So this is how we calculate all the values that is capital B1, B2, B3, C1, C2, C3 is given and this is how we calculate x1, x2, x3. Now directly we can substitute all the values to this z here. Okay. So I will take it down and now the z will become b1 x1 c1 plus b2 x2 c2 plus b3 x3 and c3. So what is the value of b1 capital B1? Capital B1 is 35, x1 is 2, c1 is, what is c1? Again 2. Now what is the value of b2? b2 is 21, x2 is 1, c2 is 4. Plus capital B3, what is capital B3? That is 15 into 1 into C3. What is C3 here? That is 6. So if I solve this whole problem, then it, I will get 140 plus uh, 84 plus 90 and it comes out to be 314. So this is the value of Z here. But what is what I have to calculate? I have to calculate the smallest number of smallest number of value of x. So for calculating the, uh, the least value of x, so I have to, for that purpose, I have to subtract something. Means to get, to get more uh, least value of z, least value of z, okay, I have to subtract capital B, from z which means z1 be, uh, the first least value of z1 is 314 minus 105 so it comes out to be 209 so the uh, see here still the value can be reduced so z, capital z2 will become 209 minus 105 so it comes out to be 104 so the smallest or we can say the least value of x or z it goes to be 104. In the same way, if I have to get more values, more max values of z, max value of z, then add capital B with z. Means if I have to calculate z, uh, we can say z4, I will represent it as z4. So 314 plus 105, it comes out to 419. So this is how we calculate the least value and the maximum value. But ma many times, the maximum times, the question will come to, to find out to calculate the least value. So I have to subtract B from Z till then we get the negative value. Okay. So this is how we solve or we can use the Chinese remainder theorem. Okay. So this is a whole step by step procedure for this theorem. Okay. But still if you have any query then you can ask in our comment section. And keep watching our video. Thank you so much.